Well, I have been able to secure a $525,000 grant that will extend the Hampton Roads Human Trafficking Task Force for another three years and also expand the footprint um, into Williamsburg and uh, on the Eastern Shore and some other places on the peninsula. So this is really good news. Combating human trafficking has been a top priority of mine for years since I've been Attorney General. And a few years ago, I created the Hampton Roads Human Trafficking Task Force in order to try to bring together all of the different uh, uh, parties who are engaged in supporting victims and going after the, the perpetrators. Um, and so this is important work to not only provide trainings for law enforcement and prosecutors, but also coordinate all of those different agencies and activities at multiple levels, local, state, federal, and also help raise, raise awareness of the problem. Um, and this is a, a, a global problem. Human trafficking is a, a fast growing uh, criminal enterprise worldwide. It's happening all across our country. Virginia is not immune from this either. And by creating this regional task force, we were really able to put uh, a, a level of coordination that we just didn't see before, and it has really delivered results. So that's why this is such good news to extend the time that we're able to continue this work and expand the reach and footprint. Is this um, task force, I mean, in this area, Hampton Roads, is it more important than in other parts of the Commonwealth, considering we're on, right on the water and so it's easy in and easy out? You know, I think it's important for regional solutions to some of these problems, and I think um, creating this task force has been really helpful. It's, it's been a collaboration between our office, um, Homeland Security Investigations, uh, Samaritan House, uh, um, the U.S. Attorney's Office, State Police, local law enforcement and prosecutors, and so it, it has really been a success in combating human trafficking, but the problem isn't going away. And that's why we have to continue to recommit these efforts uh, to, to, to address it, uh, to help those who are victims. And those who are doing trafficking, um, you know, it, it takes many forms. Human trafficking can be forced labor, whether it's in agriculture or the hospitality industry, uh, but it can also sadly take the form of sex trade and, and that type of uh, um, human trafficking, and very often it involves young people who um, are having a difficult home situation or they are feeling vulnerable, and the traffickers seem to know exactly what to do to exploit that, and, um, and it's just so gratifying when we are able to bring a perpetrator to justice um, and when we're able to help a survivor break free. It do we have, uh, forgive me, because I just don't know, are there task force in other parts of the Commonwealth? Well, there's one in Northern Virginia. And uh, when, you know, I, I thought a lot about that task force as I thought about how to address the problem in Hampton Roads. And it seemed a good model to follow, is, which was bringing all of the different um, local agencies, local nonprofits together with law enforcement to coordinate those efforts. And to date, it has been incredibly successful We've opened 337 investigations, made 135 arrests, uh, identified 227 victims. So, you know, this work is really, really important, but it's not over. And that's why this grant is such good news because it allows this work to continue for another three years and expand the reach and footprint of the task force. You, you said that obviously um, this is a, a global uh, concern with, the, with human trafficking, but when you looked at the numbers uh, in deciding that maybe Hampton Roads is a, is a good candidate to have a task force like this. Was there an issue in Hampton Roads? Were you seeing just uh, the numbers of, of uh, human trafficking cases higher than, than other parts of the Commonwealth? You know, I don't know that it's necessarily higher, um, but it's certainly uh, the, um, both the ports, the uh, international airports, uh, proximity to interstates, all of these are um, characteristics that uh, attract human traffickers to the area. And so, excuse me, um, and that attracts uh, human traffickers to the area. And we want to make sure that we're doing everything we can to put a stop to it and to bring those who are being trafficked uh, and, and help, help liberate them from, from what they're having to endure.